Have you ever wondered, what money-making method should I use? Well, now, Lochizi presents the ultimate money-making guide. Wonder no more. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? And today I'm going to be showing you the ultimate money-making guide. Basically, this question is asked at least once a day. If it's not asked that day, I don't go to sleep until it's asked. Because every single person asks me this question. So today I'm going to be showing you an ultimate money making guide. It's not going to be one guide. I'm literally going to go through at least 20 or more or around there. A uh, number of guides. So let's go. I'm going to start from the lowest combat level up to the highest combat levels. Going through melee uh, money making methods and collecting money making methods. So let's go. Now, starting in the beginning, I'm going to be assuming you're a low level. Uh, the first thing you can do is skill men to train and to acquire herbs. Now, I'm not going to be going thoroughly through every single guide because I won't have enough time to explain every single guide. But starting off, I'm assuming you're a low level, so you're going to be killing men for herbs and clue scrolls if you can do those. And yep, let's move on. Now, I'm assuming you're probably level 10 by now, so you can choose to kill cows and bank the cow hides at the nearest bank. Or, uh, you can kill chickens, which are somewhere over here. So, that's it. And moving on. Now, uh, instead of killing, if you're probably a skiller and you're starting off, you can choose to come to Camelot, just buy a cami tab or... Uh, pick the wrong choice with the sandwich lady and keep trying that until she eventually gets you to Camelot. You can pick flags and it's up to you. You can probably get 10 crafting, spin it into bowstring, or sell it as flags. Now I'm going to be moving on to a higher level of money making. So let's go. Now I'm probably assuming you're level 30 by now. Pretty decent food and a weapon. So you're going to be killing Chaos Druids for herbs and banking them at Falador. Either bring Fally tabs or you can choose to bring um, laws, waters, and airs. Now, before I move on to the next method, let me uh, quickly explain um, what uh, the rules, well, uh, the conditions are. You can always speed up your money making by using uh, super energies or energy pots, teleports, uh, pots, or whatever. I'm not going to be telling you how much money you could make per hour. I'm giving you all the choices you could possibly use to make money well not all I'm just giving you the most reasonable at what level using combat or skilling or uh, co collecting resources or whatever it is so anyways moving on now as a replacement to chaos druids you can always choose to uh, use hill giants and collect their big bones either to train prayer or bank them for the money because uh, training prayer is a loss of money uh, if you're burying them so you can choose that or, I'm not going to be showing you where hell giants are, everyone knows that. You need a brass key, and there's a house right here, which you take uh, downstairs. Now, um, I'm going to be moving on to uh, more of a medium level uh, money making using melee. So, let's go. Now, at this point, I'm assuming you're probably level 70 with, like, rune gear. Or probably um, some good gear to use here maybe some food or pots you can always speed up your money making using pots now you're gonna be killing these and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up the blood runes the death runes if you wanna do the clue scrolls you can do those you're gonna pick up the add the arrows too if you get those and you have the choice of picking up the weapon poison but that's just a waste of space unless you're an early banker like you're weak you can't camp here for a long time and you can always boost your um damage here by using a self ami whether enchanted or not this guy's using one right here and yeah so that's it now i'm gonna be moving on to a different uh, money making method and let's go now guys at this point i'm assuming you're at least level 90 and this is in around level 11 wilderness this is if you're walking now there's another method but that requires 84 magic that is the fastest green dragon killing method uh, where you use ancients to teleport to the graveyard of shadows and you walk up north to the green dragons but this is the one in 11 wildy you can walk here from edgeville you can choose to tally with the glory and as you can see here i'm in wildy with no food but don't worry the cheesy fears nothing so yeah you can choose to kill these now i'm gonna include one more thing really quick um 
You can always substitute the green dragons for blue dragons, but I would not suggest doing blue dragons unless you have 70 agility, uh, which I don't. And you need 70 agility for the uh, agility thing in the Taverly dungeon. Now, another better choice is a re uh, red dragons, but still, green dragons are better. But for red dragons, you can always um, uh, kill them in Brimhaven dungeon, that's in Brimhaven, and you probably know where that is. I'm assuming at this point because you're level 90 now you can also kill black dragons but I wouldn't suggest that because you need to pray uh, melee unless you're safe spotting that's a different story if you're safe spotting anything you can be lower level and do it because range level doesn't really affect your combat that much it's your melee stats because I'm assuming you're a melee at this point but you can always substitute for different methods. I'm simply showing you what monsters you can kill. So for these, you just pick up the dehydes and the bones. And it's the same way for all other dragons. Now, I'm going to be moving on to uh, collecting methods, which doesn't involve combat. I'm, at this point, I'm assuming you're probably a skiller and you want to collect. Or you could be a non-skiller and want to collect. I actually did some collecting for fun some to uh, try your method and I'll tell you how much money that method makes at the moment but moving on before I move on let me just quickly say uh, I'm not gonna include include uh, King Black Dragon or uh, Calphite Queen because those aren't consistent money making methods they are a risk not a risk more of a gamble you have to like you can get a visage or a uh, dragon chain but it's not 100% consistent you could stay there for 10 hours and get one and you probably could stay there for like one hour and get one or not get one so it's all on your luck depending on your luck so let's move on now this is one of my favorite collecting money making methods and right here uh, you can see here I'm on the Lunar's book and this is the best method to collect it but you don't really have to be on Lunar's book but if you are it helps a lot with 73 mage I did include this in another money making guide uh, you collect the snape grass around the beach or shore whatever you want to call it and when you once you have a full inv i would say you teleport to moon clan and you bank there but if you don't have lunars you can always walk from camelot or relica or if you have a house in relica you can tell it to relica walk to the ship place and come to water birth you need 1k cash to take the ship here but you can always use lunars for this method because it's the fastest and this method makes 200k an hour which is pretty decent at this point when their price was higher you could make around 400k an hour but it all depends how much you're selling them for now i'm going to be moving on to another collecting method so let's go now for this money making guide you're going to be collecting red spiders eggs and there is one spawn right here but there are other spots you can uh, choose which one's better if you can get lucky on world one to find a free spot they're really fast spawning on a populated world or you can simply choose to go to wilderness but i want to suggest that this is really close to the tazar bank over there and yep this is uh, another collecting method and uh moving on now for this collecting method you require the nature spirit quest and the priest in peril quest well actually all you need is the nature spirit quest done and um that's it to do this method what you're gonna need is the silver sickle uh from the quest uh you if you've done the quest you probably have this in your bank unless you dropped it you can always get another one using guide since i'm going thoroughly through each method uh, you're gonna refer to a guide on that method, but yeah, I'm just showing you all the possible methods or most of the possible methods to make money somehow. So yeah, what you're gonna do is you're gonna operate this and you're gonna be picking up these mushrooms. Uh, fungus, my bad. Or shrooms. Look, it says mushroom right there. Don't blame me. So yeah, and all you gotta do is keep repeating this and you can find a spot with like two logs. Uh, let me try this spot right here. Uh, no, but there are some spots where you can probably get uh, shrooms on like two logs. And these sell for a really good price. And I think it's 400 GP each right now. Or yeah, around there. Which isn't really bad. And uh, if you have a cannabis portal in your house, it can speed it up. But if you're using energy pots or... Um, Super energies, you can always walk to the bank over there, and yep, that's it. So, moving on to the next method. Now, I'm gonna be showing you the possible mini games you could make money off. 
and starting off with the first one you all are probably familiar with this one this is barrows so what you're gonna need is a spade and you're gonna be killing the six brothers and you can always look for a guide I'm just showing you the possibilities once again uh, there are six brothers you gotta kill them all and then you go into the tunnel and find your way to the middle where there's a chest and you have the possibility of getting a total of 24 items you're gonna get um, one or two or three of these items depending on your luck or so you might not get items from the chest you might get runes or bolt tracks now moving on to the next mini game now this is the nightmare zone uh, I've got another two videos where you see me doing this and let me go ahead and show you the rewards real quick so these are the rewards as you can see I've got some points and the best possibility you could go for is probably the pure essence which yeah as you can see costs 70 each it's a good money making method if you're good enough at this game and you're pro and you can get enough points and you know how to do it you could probably probably end up with around 400k an hour but once again uh, I'm simply showing you the possibilities uh, just to help you find a suitable money making method uh, not to um, tell you how much money you're making per hour because if you're having fun making the money it's gonna come really quick and okay so moving on to the next mini game okay so in this mini game you actually talk to this guy and yeah so what you do is uh, you deliver food everywhere and you need a cooking level I think for this but you can always watch a guide and there are two certain captains that you can deliver to that might tip you a gnome, sc a gnome scarf basically and that scarf is worth around 600 to 800 K depending on the time you're selling it or whatever or basically supply and demand if there's no supply and there's lots of demand the price might go up and I'm not here to teach you business so anyways let's move on so guys the final mini game you can actually use to make money is pest control now um, you actually get money after finishing a game and yeah but that money is minimal and I wouldn't count it as a money making guide but I'm just once again listing possibilities so the things I'm not gonna include I think I'm done for n this guide uh, what I'm not including I'm gonna include them now and talk real quick so yes guys I'm gonna be including a range of money making guides uh, really quick now I'm gonna be talking about these and not showing you because um, not everyone has the requirements for these so let's go starting off in the beginning uh, you can always use slayer to make money and this is a requirement uh, you need to get your slayer up and not everyone has a high slayer starting off with the first uh, monster which is um, uh, brine rats now for brine rats you need the quest uh, it's called Olaf's quest and yep uh, right there so yeah you're gonna be killing brine rats and these drop brine sabers and these are worth around 90 to 100k maybe more so yeah moving on you can kill jellies and these drop clue scrolls the drop rate is really high and you can do the clue scrolls uh, make money and it all depends on your luck now moving on to cave horrors cave horrors actually um, drop black masks and clue scrolls like jellies so Black masks are worth around 400 to 500k currently. I don't know when you are watching this, so let's go. Now, aberrant spectres. Uh, these drop herbs and uh, clue scrolls too. So yeah. But I wouldn't suggest this as making money because you require um, lots of prey pots. So yeah, moving on to the final four. These are the gargoyles, necreals, abyssal demons, and dark beasts. Now, as you can see, I can only kill Necreals, but not Abbey Demons, because I'm 83 currently, and, yeah. So, 75 Gargoyles drop Gmoles, and you can probably kill them. You require a Rock Hammer to kill them, and they drop Gmoles. So, Necreals are, and uh, I would actually recommend this. They are the best money-making method at level 80 Slayer because uh, the drops of r the rune boots drop rate are really common now I'm assuming you're watching this pre GWD but when GWD is out at level 83 spiritual mages will be really good for money making 
with Slayer and if you have 85 then you can move on to Abyssal Demons and if you have 90 you can Cannon Dark Beasts. Now moving on to Skilling. Now these are the 4 main money making methods from Skilling but you can make money from any skill literally any skill you name it um well let me just go through all of them really quick uh combat you can make um money killing stuff I showed you in the beginning rune crafting you can craft any runes what i would suggest is power crafting ace trolls all the way till you can craft double nats or you can simply start doing nats from 44 onwards or maybe death runes up to you so yeah and at 91 you can do two nats per essence which is pretty good so moving on uh, construction is more of a money loss than money making hunter is an awesome money making but a skill that I hate at um, 63 you can start hunting red chins but it's not suggested to do so and you're supposed to do them at around 80 but 63 is not too bad so moving on now you can fletch craft for these skills you can always find your own way to make money like for example you can mine ores that are worth more at that time and for smithing you can make stuff out of bars uh, depending on uh, the demand like if there's a demand for unfinished bolts go for it so for fishing you can fish anything that can make money it's your personal choice but I would probably suggest sharks or monkfish these are the two best but they require a higher fishing level and finally woodcutting and this is one of the best methods to make money and uh, you would probably be doing yew trees or mage trees uh, before that it's not really much of a money making method even maple trees at 45 the logs are worth 100 each but I wouldn't suggest doing them unless you're 60 woodcutting and last but not least the epic skill farming herbs of all types and different levels you can always choose look at the price of the seed let's assume the price of the rainar seed is 10k a rainar weed is approximately 4k let's say you get five out of the patch and you just doubled the price of the seed like you made uh, twice as much money as you spent on the seed so that's pretty much it guys i hope this actually helped you i tried my best to include um all the money making you could uh, ma money making methods you could possibly do to make money starting from combat uh skilling and these are like probably all the methods i would think uh, that are worth doing and yeah uh the methods that i didn't include and you think is a good method uh go ahead and do it but i'm just this is to the people that keep asking me how should i make money how do i make my money slayer and barrows but there are people with lower levels you can always do collecting or killing or training so that's pretty much it guys damn it my tongue got stuck uh yeah that pre that's pretty much it guys i uh, hope you enjoyed and if you did enjoy and found this helpful uh please leave me a like and some feedback so thank you for watching and have a nice day